Joining us on the phones right now, Texas Railroad Commissioner Ryan Sitton. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning, Chad. I'm doing great. How about you? Doing wonderful. Thanks for uh, joining us today. I hear we have some uh, good news on the energy sector. Things are starting to look really good uh, for U.S. energy. Well, I'll tell you what, Chad. When it comes to the price of oil, $65 a barrel is starting to feel pretty good to people. I'm talking to people all around the state uh, in many aspects of the industry from production to transportation, and we feel like, one, this is a good price, but people can make some money and make some investments, and two, people feel like it's a stable market that we're going to be in for a while. So uh, a lot of optimism right now. What, do, what does that mean here in the state of Texas for uh, our oil uh, our, our oil producers and, and for uh, the, just the energy sector overall in Texas? Well, when you see a stable environment, in other words, good, profitable market and some sense of calm or some sense of stability that we're going to be here for a while. Right now in Texas, it means a lot of investment because you look around the world, the world demand for energy continues to go up and the demand for hydrocarbons continues to go up. And since Texas, especially with its pipeline infrastructure, refining capacity, uh, its existing know-how, drilling rigs, uh, all that stuff, Texas is the best place to invest. So the stable market, we're seeing a lot of investment. We're seeing a lot of jobs. Uh, I think we're forecasting now maybe an additional 20,000 energy jobs just in Texas over the next two or three years. I mean, it, it's a very big economic move, at, which has impacts beyond that, into manufacturing, into education, into road construction. So it means big things for the entire state. Well, and, uh, and, and you know, this, this will have international ramifications as well, correct? Oh, absolutely, Chad. You know, when you look at <clears throat> what OPEC and Russia – uh, Saudi Arabia specifically are doing, they're all trying to find a nice balance where they can sustain the dollars that they need, not just to support the industry in their countries, but also to support their social infrastructure, their social programs. So as they try to kind of stabilize the markets for themselves, they're constantly having to deal with additional U.S. production, more U.S. energy on the market. And given our technological advances, we're competing head-to-head in a way we have not probably in a generation. Visiting with uh, Texas Railroad Commissioner Ryan Sitton here on the Chad HD Show. So it, it looks as though things are, are, are going well. Uh, how much of this also has to do with the the presidency of Donald Trump and what he has been able uh, to do? You know, it's a great question, Chad, because we don't hear a lot of direct, you know, oil and gas type policy moves from the president. But what we're seeing is an overall business-friendly mindset, and I think it's hard to overstate how important that is. If you're, if you're somebody looking to invest, once again, $100 million, $500 million, a billion dollars in the energy industry, you got a lot of different places you can go. And when the United States has the best geology, like the Permian Basin, we've got the best infrastructure, great refinery capacity, that's great. But if you've got an administration that is anti-oil and gas, that gives you a lot of pause. Right Now this administration is saying, no, 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 we're going to be pro-U.S. business, pro-U.S. energy production, pro-U.S. market dollars, and we're going to implement tax policies that are good for every aspect of U.S. business. That really draws people into wanting to be in this business, in this state, in this country for a long time. Texas Railroad Commissioner Ryan Sitton, uh, while we have you on the phone right now, uh, tell folks what else is going on over at the Texas Railroad Commission that uh, folks need to know about. You know, I always like to joke about the fact that the Railroad Commission is not a very sexy place to be unless people are worried <laughs> about gasoline prices, right? Uh, I'll tell you this. The, the things we're doing today, we're looking at, at not just maintaining a really effective agency, which I'm, I'm very proud of the Railroad Commission, and I can't brag much on that because – most of what happens at the Railroad Commission today was put in place long before I was around. But when we look forward the next 5, 10, 15 years, and we talk about really helping our staff become one of the top, you know, most techno- technologically advanced staff in the world when it comes to oil and gas, when you talk about processing permits and, and advancing the way our rules work to keep up with modern technology, uh, moving forward technology, to enable the average consumer, the average Texan, to get information about what's happening in the oil and gas business you know, in their neighborhood or on their ranch, to get that information real time. Those are all things we're working on. So helping our staff get, get more and more polished on their technical expertise, advancing our technological advancements, uh, and then making sure that our rules keep up with the things happening in, in the state. 
That's what we're focused on today. It's not very sexy, but it's the stuff that keeps Texas energy industry able to lead the nation because we don't get in their way. Commissioner Ryan Sitton, appreciate your time today, and uh, we'll, we'll visit with you down the road. I look forward to it, Chad. Thanks for everything you're doing, buddy. Thank you. That's uh, Texas Railroad Commissioner Ryan Sitton joining us here on the Chad Hasty Show.